France has carried out its largest military exercise in decades. The second phase of exercise, Orion, involved 7,000 troops, including assets from host country France and joint assets from the US and UK, as well as naval assets from NATO allies, such as Germany, Greece, Italy, the Netherlands and Spain. The exercise focused on defense operations on land, air, sea and cyber. As part of the exercise, three French Air and Space Force, a 400M transport aircraft, dropped 700 soldiers from the French 8th Marine Infantry Parachute Regiment and an additional company from the 17th Engineer Parachute Regiment over the airfield in Castro. Over 48 hours, three other aircraft also dropped equipment and supplies to secure and hold the area. In another phase, 700 amphibious troops landed ashore from the French Navy's amphibious ships, Tonnerre and Mistral, along with vehicles and equipment. They made a landing in the coastal town of St. before continuing north to practice maneuvers and operations. After landing at SCT, the amphibious troops began their journey north to continue maneuver training and operations in designated areas. Their route of travel was designed to encounter a variety of challenges and different terrains, allowing the troops to adapt quickly and efficiently to various situations. During the journey north, the amphibious forces were involved in various exercises that demanded collaboration between various units and branches of the forces. These exercises included military maneuvers, battle tactics, medical evacuation, as well as interaction with local communities as part of a civil defense exercise. The troops trained with great intensity and dedication, realizing that each exercise was a valuable opportunity to strengthen skills and improve teamwork. Throughout the exercise, captains and senior officers actively led and provided direction to their troops, ensuring that every action was executed appropriately and in accordance with the exercise objectives. Meanwhile, the French Navy's amphibious ships Tonnerre and Mistral continued to serve as logistics and support centers for troops ashore. They delivered the additional supplies and equipment needed to ensure the troops remained ready for the exercise and its task. In this exercise, the synergy between ground troops, Navy and amphibious ships was key to success. By training together and understanding each other's roles, these forces were able to work as one resilient and efficient unit in the face of various challenges on the battlefield. As Exercise Orion reached its closing stages, the troops were satisfied with the results of their hard work and dedication. They realized that this exercise was an integral part of maintaining superior combat capability and keeping the French army ready for any situation that may arise in the future. As the exercise reached its end, the atmosphere of togetherness and spirit of pride was very strong among the French army troops who had participated in exercise Orion. The troops felt they had gained valuable experience and improved their skills in various aspects of military operations. Back at their base, the captains and senior officers conducted a thorough evaluation of the exercise. They identified points of strength and areas requiring improvement to be used as lessons learned in continuing the exercise in the future. Based on the experience gained, they committed to continuously improve training and cooperation between the various branches of the force. In addition, the captains also saw the benefits of collaboration with NATO partner countries and how it has enhanced the overall capabilities of the French army. They recognize that the exchange of knowledge, tactics and strategies with foreign partners provides a competitive advantage in the face of complex global challenges. As captains of their respective units, Captain Thibault and Captain Charles spoke with their troops, expressing appreciation for their efforts in training and recognizing outstanding individual achievements. They reminded the troops that training never ends and that every opportunity should be used as momentum to continue to develop and grow as better soldiers. Returning to his commanding officer, Captain Charles of One Air Argument Tranger, DG Nee reported in detail on the amphibious skills improved during this exercise.
This report served as a guide to identify weaknesses and strengths that could be relied upon in future amphibious operations. Overall, Exercise Orion has been an important milestone for the French Army. It not only enhanced their combat readiness, but also strengthened the bonds between personnel from different units and branches of the force. The spirit of togetherness, dedication and spirit of sacrifice displayed during this exercise reflect the values upheld by the French Army. As Exercise Orion came to an end, the message that all soldiers took away was that training, collaboration and a spirit of togetherness are key to achieving optimal combat readiness. They know that the military world is always changing and only by constantly learning and adapting can they remain a resilient and reliable military force ready to protect the security and interests of the French state. After the completion of Exercise Orion, the French army took away many valuable lessons and experiences from the exercise. A careful evaluation of the entire exercise provided insight into what had worked and what still needed to be improved. Leaders and senior officers drew up plans to continue the development and improvement of the French Army's combat capability. One of the positive outcomes of Exercise Orion was the strengthening of relationships and cooperation with NATO partners and other countries involved. The contacts established during the exercise open up opportunities for further cooperation in military exercises and the exchange of military knowledge. The French Army is committed to continued collaboration with friendly countries to enhance interoperability and readiness in the face of complex global threats. In addition, Exercise Orion also confirmed the importance of amphibious capabilities for the French Army. Captain Charles, of the 1Air Argeman Tranger de Genie, acknowledged that this exercise had improved their amphibious skills, which are rarely trained. As a result of the evaluation of the exercise, specific training plans will be drawn up to continue honing the amphibious skills of French Army soldiers so that they can face the challenges of landing operations in coastal and island environments more effectively. In addition, the French Army will also utilize the latest technologies and developments in modern military operations. They will continue to invest in advanced resources and equipment, such as a 400M transport aircraft and amphibious ships to improve the mobility and reachability of their troops. Sure, well, uh... Allez, allez, allez.